Cardano is our home chain and we will continue to build and utilize Cardano. Should be no secret by now that I absolutely love Ada. I love Cardano. I love the ecosystem. So let's take a look at that ecosystem, ladies and gentlemen, and check out Cardano play to earn games and NFT games that you don't want to miss out in the year 2023. We're going to check out card games, casual games, we got racing games, and most importantly, we got metaverses. And the Cardano metaverse might be the very best metaverse I've seen in any crypto ecosystem so far. Uh, but you know it's me, the Triple P, the Inspector, the Platinum Player Papa. There were none before me, there be none after me, which makes me the one and only young and single, love to mingle, certified and bona fide and soon to be qualified. I'm your mind blow man, and I'm about to blow your minds, man. If you could take half a second, go down there and leave a like. It means a lot to me, and it's literally half a second to you. With that being said, let's get the show on the road. We're gonna start with the casual games, work our way up to the card games, then go to the battle royals, shooters, and racing games. And finally, we're gonna check out one of the most promising crypto games I have ever seen in my life, and it is a metaverse, and it is on Cardano. Makosi Planet, I, I think it's pronounced Makosi. This is a play to earn game with virtual pets. It is casual, it has mini games, and it's a simulation game. It's one of the first play to earn games on the Cardano blockchain, and it's different from the other games, the other casual games, because it does combine a virtual pet and incorporates it with the farming simulation type of games. Now, this is in beta right now, and it does does require an NFT to start, but you can check it out if you're a fan of casual games. And the card game that we're gonna talk about is called Dre Cards. So Dre Cards, like this. Dre Cards is a trading card game. Of course, it has NFT support and is play to earn. Unfortunately, it's currently still in development. It is not live. We can't play it and check it out, but it's definitely something to keep our eyes on. Anyone who loves card games, this might be for you. I'm a huge card game fan. It will require an NFT in order to earn, though. That's a little bit different than, for example, Gods Unchained, but it's still in development, so that might be something you're gonna change down the road. Dre Cards, definitely something to keep your eyes on and third game on the list as we're slowly working our way up to the metaverse we have a racing game the game is called speed throne so this is a pc game with realistic looking graphics they're using the unreal engine 5 and unreal engine 5's features such as nanite lumen and chaos vehicle physics to deliver the best gaming experience possible for their players now this is still in the beta stages and it is a pvp action racing game available on the cardano blockchain there's definitely work to be done with this game but it is something very good in my opinion racing games we have not seen nearly enough racing games on any crypto ecosystem so cardano being one of the first ones to really get something out there is very bullish for cardano now it's no secret that i'm a huge fan of ada but ada currently price wise is struggling very much these things that i talk about are some of the fundamentals and some of the reasons why cardano will go way up and above in the bull market and just destroy all expectations in my opinion but as far as ada goes currently we're looking at this resistance here at 0.4 or 4 cents then after that we got the 8 cents resistance and the upper part of the Fibonacci, the $1.3 dollar resistance. So that's as far as Cardano is concerned, this is where we're at. And with that being said, game number four is called Battle Hero. It's a hero that you do battle with. It's a battle royal. So this is a battle royal slash brawler slash shooter. It is in the beta stages, completely free to play with NFT support and play to earn support as well. It'll be available for everything. Android, iOS, PC, Mac, you name it, it's got it. Not the most visually striking game. You can definitely see it's in the beta stages, but not to take anything away from them. They are building something good here. There will be a lot of ways you can enjoy this game. Tournaments, leagues, events. And I'm really brushing through all of these just to get to the metaverse section because we have a lot to talk about there so on number five we have machiavellic now machiavellianism or just, just that word is associated with a very bad thing it's associated with ruthlessness with political domination but machiavellic sounds like a machiavellist that's a mechanic kind of <laughs> okay let's explore the game so this will be a sandbox mmo on cardano you're gonna be able to immerse yourself on an alien planet in this open world game that has nft support that is play to earn you'll be able to equip a wide array of armor there's a lot of classes to try out these are very early stages 
stages for some of these games, especially Machiavellic. It's a very early stage game. It's only in the pre-sale phase right now. And let me just take a second to say that I'm not sponsored by any of these projects. I would love to get sponsored by Cornucopia, which is the game we're going to check out next. The metaverse I've been talking about. So let's do this. What the hell? is cornucopia why am i so bullish on it and how will that change gaming forever first of all the graphics absolutely insane what they're building here absolutely insane so you see you may see we're on a plane right now on, on a grass plane moving around jumping around running around but that's just one part of the game the game is structured in a way where there's different domes for you to check out every dome has its own theme this particular theme looks like this it's all Plainy and grassy and nice and you have mountains and everything, but there's also dangerous domes. There's also way more dangerous domes. We have the Wild West Dome, they're gonna have a Samurai Dome, they're gonna have a bunch of different things, as well as they're gonna allow players to create their own things in the game, their own minigames, so similar to what the Sandbox does, but in freaking Unreal Engine 5, much better graphics, much better everything. One of the things you'll be able to do in Cornucopia is create your own little NFT item that didn't exist before in the world then you can have a blueprint of that item and then you can sell that blueprint for other people to mint their own version of their nft of the nft that you made so you can then sell that blueprint that way that's a very very unique way of earning with nfts i love the creativity i freaking love the creativity when it comes to things like that so the island as they call it is where all the domes are placed in they'll be available for pc mobile phones game consoles and even smart tvs i have no idea how they're gonna do smart tvs with unreal engine 5 but that's just what it says on playturn.net i'm I, I didn't even know it was going to be available for phones i'm going to be honest uh, of course pcs but in this game creators will be able to discover a new form of currency economy where you'll be able to trade your own nfts in the game or even on third-party marketplaces and no longer will your purchased game assets be confined in a single game again so this is a full-on MMORPG set on an island that has different themed domes with player driven economy with NFTs and allowing people to build their own things you're gonna be able to race around there's a racing part as well challenge other players to mini games create digital assets that you can own and sell an immensely fast-growing community is what they have here as well with very little marketing they don't want to do any marketing any paid marketing right now before the game goes live as far as I know so therefore, hit your boy up, Cornucopia. They, their coin is live, it's called Kopi, and it'll be the absolute foundation to this game. Now again, this is a whole full-blown metaverse. They can call it MMORPG, they can call it simulation, they can do what they want. If you have this, ma this many things to do, it's a metaverse. So I've said this in a video once before. If you have an MMORPG that is running on Web3 technology, so NFTs and blockchain, you have a metaverse. And a very noble mission they have here called Corny Cares or Copy Cares, where they have already donated 1,700,000 ADA in order to plant 130,380 trees, 23, almost 24,000 tons of CO2 to be sequestered. I don't know what that word means, to be honest. They've done this by introducing three NFT mints named NFT to Tree that were used to test new innovations in the NFT marketplace. The ADA made from those mints, as well as 100% of the secondary market royalties, are donated to Veritree. Now, Veritree is this organization that is um, partnered with Cornucopia and that is doing the Kopi care. So they have verified planting in this part of Canada, Williams Lake, Canada, and also Catherine Senegal. I hope I pronounced that right. Catherine or Kirkafrine Senegal. All in all, amazing things, amazing project. I would, so, I would love so much to collaborate with them in the future. But even if not, I will keep covering this game as I think it will make waves. I think it will make waves. Well, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all next time. Inspector out.